Books. My name is Jen, and today we are going to be doing some arts and crafts, art, art, art stuff. Basically, I have been wanting to make more art for the library downstairs. I know, it's not finished yet. We've actually made some fairly good progress. We haven't made any more progress on the library itself, but we've been working on the basement at this point. So um, we have started working on a bathroom, well a half bath, then we've also been working on like the main section, um, a corner of which is going to be my husband's like little hangout man cave area, stuff like that, and so we got a little more progress done on that. I um, haven't done anything else on the library yet because because we are currently working on the bigger section of everything. A lot of stuff that would go in there, um, as well as some stuff that is going to go into the library. It's all in the library right now, just to get out of the way. So, there's not really any room to work on stuff, but there's not too, too much of the library left to do. Um, there's like one strip of flooring by a wall that needs to get done and then we need to do a second coat of mudding and then uh, sanding on a corner of like one wall essentially. Um, it's the final wall by like the window and then that wall just needs to get painted, um, primed, painted, probably a couple of coats and then um, there's like a shelving unit Thing that's going to be put in a section and then that's pretty much the library should be done for the most part other than you know moving things in decorating all of that jazz but that probably will be maybe summertime that's what we're looking at anyway I have made a piece of art actually two pieces of art for the gallery um, wall that is going to go downstairs. Some stuff is like things that I'm thinking about hanging elsewhere in the library room and then most pieces will be going on the gallery wall which will basically be a space in between a couple of bookshelves. So I have tall ones and then I also have low bookshelves and the gallery wall will be over the low bookshelves because there will be more wall space. That's pretty much what that will be. I've shown you the photos and like our pieces that I've gotten for like downstairs before and I did a previous video um, where I made a painting um, that's like based on the Count of Monte Cristo. I wanted to make another one so I have been making one that is based on uh, the Dis Discworld series, more specifically like the Tiffany Aching series. So I have a couple of ideas for Tiffany Aching things that I want to make right now. What I'm going to be working on right now is more of a landscape thing. Um, and then I have another one that I want to make which will have like stuff but will have like a quote on it is the plan. I honestly barely know anything of what I'm doing. Um, I'm not um, crafty-ish, but I'm not very art, art artsy, um, mostly when it comes to uh, paintbrush paint. I do a better job with like paint markers. So uh, I'm just kind of like doing what I feel like and seeing what, what shakes out. So uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
you might have seen a shot of it already. But let me show you the final product. There it is. So as you can see, I have like the whole thing. Um, so I did end up making it like Discworld themed. So you'll see the chalk horse is there. We have the sheep. Maybe not as many sheep as there should have been, but <laughs> this is what I did. Um, and then you can see the little Mac Mac feel taking sheep away. I made Rob anybody. Um, or that's supposed to be him anyway, telling them, come on guys, let's go. And yeah, they're stealing a sheep. And uh, then I ended up just adding a little maybe Granny Weatherwax in shadow flying along up here just because I felt like it needed something up in the tippy top. But yeah, guys, this is, this is it. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I know it's not like the best painting job ever. I'm not really an artist, <laughs> um, but I liked doing this and it was a lot of fun so far. So yeah, that was that. That was that bookish art project. Pretty happy with it, I think. I think I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's not exactly fully what I was hoping for in my head, but I mean, my painting skills are not up to like snuff, so nothing's gonna be as good as I imagine it in my head, but um, I'm pretty happy with that anyway. So that's that bookish painting, so I've made the Wee Free Men, I've made um, a Count of Monte Cristo one. I have one more, well, I have two more huge canvases. This is one of them right now. It's all black because um, it's going to have like lyrics. It's it's song lyrics are going to be on it. It's um, not going to be very bookish, but I do have maybe another quote from like the Wee Free Men that I want to make like a thing of maybe or I, I've got like ideas. So you don't want to do that. I also was thinking about, hey, that would be really fun to make, like, something related to The Shining, like, attempt to make, um, a vintage postcard looking thing for the Overlook, but, or, um, I've also been wanting to make maybe something Lord of the Rings related, or... Chronicles of Perdain related, but I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'm not really sure. I have one more big canvas right here. Um, one of these big square ones. I have one more of those, which I think will be for either the Shining thing or the next Discworld painting. And then I have like one huge canvas, um, but I have not decided what's going to go on the huge canvas yet because it's going to have to be a very big project and yeah, I just haven't made up my mind. So I will have to go to Michael's <laughs> sometime soon if I want more canvases, which I think I do. I'm finding something very therapeutic about painting, so um, yeah, anyway, that is that guys. Um, like I said, pretty happy how it turned out. Have some ideas for more things that I want to do. Um, I, I don't know. Depends on whether or not anybody really seems to like these or not. I can film the other process or like ideas or different things for the other bookish paintings too in the future as well. And eventually when the library is done, I will definitely um, show you guys the whole process of creating the gallery wall that I have imagined in my head downstairs. I'm very excited about, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for always watching. If you're new here and would like to consider subscribing, 
please go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys in the next video.